Hello! I'm actually here in uh, Las Vegas. I haven't been to Las Vegas in probably uh, six years, and so I thought I want to stay in the hippest hotel, which right now, I would imagine for a long time, is going to be the Cosmopolitan. It's, uh, it's where all the stars are staying, and when you come here, you definitely see all the big celebrities. So I'd just like to apologize to all the people staying here now, and I'm the biggest celebrity they've seen. Uh, sorry. Um, but uh, this is one of their uh, wraparound terrace suites. It's gorgeous, very urban, a uh, lot of different textures and, and uh, fabrics and patterns. It's really a, a room that's alive. Great lighting fixtures as well. Uh, and its sort of signature amenity is a wraparound terrace. There's a balcony. I'd go on it now, but it is so windy, you'd be like, woo! And this would be like a rated R uh, video hotel tour. Um, but there's a wraparound tour, uh, terrace um, that goes to that side as well, and it has an incredible view of Las Vegas. Just amazing. We're actually looking down onto the Bellagio. You see the fountain right there. It's just uh, so unique. I don't, I don't know of any other places that really tout having balconies. So if you stay here, definitely ask for the East Tower with a view overlooking the Bellagio Fountain. Also really cool in this hotel is a full kitchen. I've got a stove top, an oven, a microwave, and absolutely no dishes. They've given me nothing. And I just thought, boy, when I'm in Vegas, what's the first thing I want to do? Roast a chicken, and I can't. So uh, I'm a little disappointed there. But I wanted to show you the mini bar. Uh, because all, obviously, you know, selections that they have in Las Vegas are a little different than the ones you find in your normal hotel. I can't pick anything up because it's one of those sensors. It's like, oh, $15! You know, it literally can sense that you've lifted the item up and charges you automatically, and then you have to fight with the clerk downstairs. So I'm not even like, I'm not actually not even going to look at it because I'll probably be charged. But if you do look behind here, you have your intimacy kit, which I'd expect from any decent Las Vegas hotel, uh, right next to the beef jerky, which I think is a really good way to display together, why not? And then uh, something you never see, I've never seen, binoculars. So you have an intimacy kit as well as something that you can use to spy on other people's intimacy. So let me show you the mini fridge. Actually, it's not a mini fridge, it's a full-size fridge. Uh, again, we've got that sensor thing going so I can't even lift anything up. Uh, but the motto of the Cosmopolitan Hotel is just the right amount of wrong. So in celebration of that motto, I thought I would do the rest of the room tour whilst drinking the most expensive Pabst Blue Ribbon I've ever drank. Yeah. Ah, you can really taste the can. Okay, let's go. I think it's going to be at least $15. <laughs> I have no idea. So again, you've got uh, a really nice seating area, great living room space, fabulous flat screen TVs, and look at all this room. Come in here, separate bedroom. Another great view overlooking another 4,000 rooms here in Las Vegas. Um, but, oh, the bed is just super comfortable. Wonderful, wonderful bed. And I love how it's separated from the bathroom. Got a super large bathroom in there. Go check it out. Go look. I, I got my beer to drink. I can't do all the work. So look at that. You got a nice big soaking tub, big shower. You got two vanity mirrors. Now here's a strange thing about this terrace suite. It's a one bedroom suite and yet it has two full bathrooms with two showers. We've got this shower and then the other bathroom has its own separate shower. And I just think, why do you need two showers? Is it because, like, you've invited someone back and now, you know, I, you know, I, please don't use my shower. Could you use the other shower? Is that, am I reading into this too much? All right. Probably am. <sighs> We're in Vegas. Dirty minds. So what I love about Vegas is that uh, you can really feel like a big spender without actually spending a lot of money. For instance, this wraparound terrace suite with a gorgeous view of all of Las Vegas, 1,300 square feet, is uh, $240 a night. Now that's just the night I'm staying. I'm here midweek, so it's a lower rate. You know, weekends are going to go up. Uh, but you can really stay in phenomenal places for very reasonable uh, amounts of money. Just go onto their website, which is really great, and you can actually see three months in advance the pricing for every single room they have. And their standard room here is $160 a night. Again, that's while I'm staying here. Everything changes, but it just gives you an idea 
idea of just how accessible absolute luxury is. I mean, $240 a night won't even get you a 300 square foot uh, hotel in New York City. But here in Las Vegas, it's like we're all millionaires ready to gamble our lives away. Cheers. It's actually not bad. Mm.